think I have learned that bees should be taken care of. If we want to get a full benefit of, of the bees, we should take care of them. My name is Peter Okiru Otengo. I come from Kitale, Kenya. Uh, I'm a beekeeper since 1994. Also learned how to to use pot hives as as a beehive, and then from there I I innovated a, a pot hive so that it could be used like a modern hive, using the idea of the Langstro hive. Therefore, you have a one pot which works as the brood area and the other part which works as the supper. I use the idea of drilling holes on the top of the brood hive. Therefore, the queen could not go up into the, into the sub hive. So it allows only workers to go up in the top hive and there. And this idea really proved to be, to be very beneficial because pots don't, don't get rot unless they are broken, they can stay forever. In, in Kenya, we don't view bees as, as anything serious that could change the livelihood of people. We see it as an old-fashioned traditional things, whereby old peoples would hang hives on a, on a top of tree in the forest. We don't see the really benefit of the honey. Uh, like in the Western countries where this is a big industry, creating a lot of employment and creating a lot of opportunities. The challenge in beekeeping from, from where I come in my village is the starting capital. People will tell you, I don't have a hive, how can I get a hive? People will keep asking you, can you give me a hive? Let me state it like this. A Kenyan top bar hive could cost about 2,000 Kenyan shillings. It is hard for somebody just to take 2,000 Kenyan shillings and go and buy a hive. Therefore, we start with whether you can have a clay pot hive, whether you can have a log hive which you can just make it from home or somebody can make it for you cheaply, or whether you can have a, a top bar that is made from anything, and then from that we, we develop from making a better hive. And I'm still anxious to learn more. Hi, hey, welcome back. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good. 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 I met the people at the DSDA when I attended an IUSSI Congress in Washington. I was invited to present a post about my work in, in Kenya. When I came over for the Congress, I met the scientists who are working here at the USDA. I've been able to be in the, the lab to to take tests about Nosema, to take tests about the treacher vari uh, mite, to take, uh, to take the test uh, of the, the varroa mite, and generally to, to understand the, the health of the bee. I've been sharing with them the experiences about uh, keeping the bees in the clay pot hive and about the, how to harvest honey in Africa, in the place where I come from. I just recently heard that they had to harvest some honey and they sold it for about 3,000 Kenyan shillings. You can use the wax to make soaps which you can, you can sell them locally or even internationally. They are natural and they are, they are good for the skin. We need uh, to have the tools which we can use ourselves to make our own hive because going to buy a ready-made hive could be a more challenge. When we, we have in force 500 or over 500 hives in operation, can, can make our a project even self-sustaining in, in a short while. We would like to have the carpentry tools, like saws and planes and clubs, the drills. This will help us actually to make our our own workshop whereby we can start producing our own hives. Yeah.
ಮಾಡಿ ನಂಜೇರಿದ 